if you pick the right shop that really has your best interests at heart, you may end up having to pay out of pocket over and above what the insurance company covers in order to get your car repaired properly. If you have one of those average everyday insurers, they will fight for every penny. And, and the fight is, is not with us, the fight's with you because right. you're the one that they need to indemnify, not me. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the airing of Grievances. I'm Eric Grammer. That's Robert Grieve, and we are ever so thankful that you are here with us today. If this is your first time joining us, we give you a special welcome. Ask you if you like what you see, give the thumbs up on the YouTube channel. We appreciate that. That lets YouTube know that this is content that's worthy of sharing. And again, uh, if you're one of our regular family, you know how we feel about you. We're ever grateful for you. And uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, go ahead and click that. Click the notification bell as well, and uh, we'll we'll just dispense with the uh, the pleasantries there. <laughs> because uh, Rob, happy Saturday! I'll wish you a happy Saturday, my dear friends. Happy Saturday to you. Thanks for tuning in. You yeah. mean the world to us. Appreciate you. We have a a very important, not very happy. No conversation no I, you know we're, we're gonna get real here for a minute yeah it's uh it is what it is so let's just call it what it is you it, know it's important to share with you these these videos are for you the consumer right yep. this is not necessarily for the uh the the collision industry although we know that we have collision industry friends here and, and we appreciate you we absolutely do and we know that you can feel and appreciate uh, many of the topics that we bring, including uh, today's. So, set the scene for us, Rob, if you will, please. Well, as a consumer, and we care about you very much, uh, whether you're doing business here or doing business someplace else, this is a tough time to have an accident and need to get your car repaired uh, for so many different reasons, inflation and parts delays and... Yeah. supply chain issues and yeah, all these words we didn't have to use two years ago but no. uh, here we are yeah yeah I mean yeah. it's unbelievable uh, what we have to go through today to, to try and get a car repaired uh, and so you as a consumer are going to be faced with a choice if you have your car in an accident and God willing everybody's okay sure of course right out of the box uh, and the only problem is getting your car fixed. Right, right. <laughs> I hope I wish that for you. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, you, you know, across the nation, there's between thirty-five and forty thousand uh, collision centers, repair shops, body shops, uh, and they're they're not all created equal. Uh, that's you, the truth. You really need to do your homework because uh, there are different levels of education. Uh, that the shops go through uh, and I've seen some disturbing numbers as far as that goes mm. uh, from the national level and there are different levels of equipment that are readily available to shops mm -hmm. I mean they're available whether they have them or not because they're so cost prohibitive right and some manufacturers require certain types of you know equipment Sure. You know, uh, there are cars out there that we see on the road all day long that the manufacturer says you have to have this kind of a frame rack in order to set it up and measure it properly. If you set it up and measure on something else, we're it may not, be off. Yeah, we're not getting behind you. Uh, and and so, you know, choosing where you go has become more and more uh, hard to find. Yeah. The right place. Uh, and then when you do find them, they're good and they have a backlog. So it's hard to get into them. Uh, and in addition to that, here comes the ugly thing. If you pick the right shop that really has your best interests at heart, you may end up having to pay out of pocket over and above what the insurance company covers in order to get your car repaired properly. There are, 
shops that uh, will just fix it for whatever the insurance company says, and I highly uh, discourage you going down that road. Uh, yeah, l- let me let me park the car there for sure. just a minute. Let's because park the car. Pack the car. <laughs> pack the car. You didn't go to Boston. You went to uh, <laughs> Detroit. Uh, there are shops that will do whatever the insurers say they're willing to pay. And in those cases, we call those shops uh, DRP shops. That's a direct repair program. They're it, partner it's shops. It's a partnership with yeah. the insurer, right? And the insurer says, we'll send you... Are, are insured, right? Mm-hmm. If you, uh, and, and they have to be careful saying that because they can't say you got to go here. No, they can't That's say that. illegal. That's called steering. Yep, can't do that. But they can say we have a preferred list or uh, here's They're going to try very hard to get you to where they want you to go because then they can control things. Right. Even though technically they're not supposed to and in a legal battle, they'll wipe their hands of it and say we just pay the bills. Every time. Right, because they're not the repair professionals. When the car is getting repaired, so they think they're the car, the re- professionals. Right, when they're writing up what the losses should be. Yes, and what sh- you should do and shouldn't do, and what's reasonable and customary, and what isn't. And you know, I go back and forth on that all the time. I'm I'm not responsible for any other shop. Right, or how they do their work, or what equipment they use, or what level of training they have. Uh, I'm just, I'm not responsible. I'm responsible for right here. Yes. The shop you brings it, you bring your vehicle to is responsible for what they do, That's how right. they fix it, what they fix it with. And and those shops that, that are in that partnership with the, the insurers, uh, in order to maintain that partnership to get more volume of traffic coming to them, they have to play by the insurer's rules yeah if you and will. insurers are not oh. insurers are not oh. insurers are not experts in repairing vehicles yeah they're not looking up for repair procedures uh if the shop doesn't ask for it they don't pay for it right even though they know they should i have a car out here that was at a body shop big gigantic insurer uh clearly nothing lines up on this car and it was never set up on a frame machine and measured or, if you will, x-ray or CAT scan or yeah, yeah, yeah. however you want to uh, uh, understand what, what it is we're talking about. The insurer knew that car needed to be set up and measured. The shop didn't ask for it. Who knows? Maybe they don't have a frame bench. I don't know that. Yeah. But meanwhile, the car is sitting here now three, four weeks waiting for some sort of resolution because and the insurer's saying we're not going to pay for that yeah we don't know we don't know for that and if the, if you want to pay to have it set up and measured and there's a, a problem which that could be close to a thousand dollars in some cases uh then if they come across a problem let us know and, and we'll go out and see if we can address it that's that's not the way this is supposed to work it is not and yet that is what you're talking about when you say you have a choice you have a choice of which shop to go to you can take the path of least resistance, but that is likely to get you the least service, the least quality, and uh, the only one who stands to win in this is the insurer themselves. Yeah, and it's just because they're not losing that bad. They're, right. they're, they're corralling their losses. Right. In the end, you are the one that loses the most. You lose the equity in your vehicle. In many cases, they're just not getting fixed right, and things aren't being checked that are supposed to protect you, uh, and so nobody's... First off, they don't even know that they exist on the vehicle. Yeah. And if they did, they're just not doing anything about it. Or they're doing it incorrectly. Yep. If you can find that shop that even knows, uh, there's a ton of homework that needs to go into to doing this today. And I, I just want to say there, there are many insurers. There's a lot of insurers uh, that it is no issue. But if you have one of those average everyday insurers, they will fight for every penny. And and the fight is, is not with us. The fight's with you because right. you're the one that they need to indemnify, not me. Right. Uh, and not the shop. The, the, the problem is, with, is between you and the insurer, whether it be your insurance or somebody that hit you. Um, and we've had several videos on, on how to handle these things, yeah. but there are ways... If you land up having to pay out of pocket to force an insurer to indemnify you. 
Indemnify is a big word. Uh, Make you whole. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> you, know, I, you know, and some of the insurers just won't do it at the at the shop level while the car is in the shop. Yeah. You pay the difference, and then you send, send that bill into the insurance company and say, this is what I had to pay to get my car fixed. Well, now there's an indemnification issue. It's a different, and a lot of them different will line just, item. yep, and it comes out of a different bucket on the financial <laughs> yeah. statement for them. The people out in the field, you know, they don't even know that's going on. It's happened. There, there's lots of ways, but it, it's time consuming. And you, as a consumer, after going through the the tragic nature of having a collision loss, shouldn't have to go through this stuff. Right. And and what we hear time and time again is, I've been with this insurance company for 40 years. My agent is the best agent in the whole world. And then all that doesn't turn out to be exactly that. No, you make one claim in those 40 years, and all of a sudden they're still shortchanging yeah. the, the claim. They're, they're treating you and the same way they would a, a, a six-month policyholder. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, there are lots of good shops out there. Um, you've got to find them. I recommend you do research ahead of ever needing them. That way you know what to do in case something happens. But... Mm -hmm. uh, if you ever need a hand or a uh, some advice, try to make myself available for that. Here's the phone and, number that you can call, yeah. and just ask for Rob. Ask ask him. You know, hey, I live in this state, this area. Where do I go? Who who do you trust? Yeah. And if you know somebody, you'll share it. Yep. Yep. That's that's true. And uh, you can even make a comment on the YouTube video, and I I get all the a little notification there was a comment, and I'll certainly respond and. Yeah get you my email and all the rest of that but in the meantime uh it, it's it's no fun today ha being involved in an accident whether it's your fault or somebody else's fault uh and there's a lot that goes into getting your car fixed and not a lot of it is frustrating we know that and we try to make it as easy and and the shop you know you choose a, a good shop they're going to try to make it easy on you also yeah. nobody wants you to have to pay out of your pocket of course nobody not. wants that it is it's nothing but a pain in the butt yeah but today the way that the insurers are, are trying to reimburse these claims they're they're shorting you and they're shorting you not only on the financial side but on the on the repair side yeah so just wanted to you know if you you know get that shop that you think is the great shop and they say ah, that insurer you may be out of pocket a little bit don't be shocked because that's a reality today. Yeah. And, and, if, and, and if you go to one of their partner shops, you won't pay out of pocket, but you also won't get what you, you think you should be. Yeah, there, there, therein lies the whole thing. So. There, you do have options, and one of the first options, I believe that information is power, knowledge is power, yep. right? And so uh, right here, we've got 90, can you believe, 90 videos that you can go just search a keyword that you're looking for on our channel. And again, if you haven't subscribed, do that now. Click that notification bell and then uh, search for the topics that are relevant or just go through the videos and see the headlines and see what, uh, what we're talking about because this information right here on this channel, this show, The Airing of Grievances, is a great asset. And if you have knowledge try. before the incident, right? Yeah. You, you said, you know, it's no fun to have an accident today. Well, it's never been any fun. No. But. But it's even less fun. It, it's, it's chaotic after the accident today, more so than it used to be. So, knowledge is power. Search our database. Share this channel and our videos with people that you know, your friends and family. Friends, share this video with other friends. That's all I'm saying. Anyway. All right. Happy, Happy Saturday, Saturday to you. Yep. My dear friends, again, thanks so much for tuning in. You mean the world to me. I hope you have an amazing week. See you next week.